As usual, I prep my hair using my Qi Silk Infusion. This protects the hair from heat damage and also keeps it shiny and smooth. And this helps the straightener to slide through the hair. So smooth it out evenly throughout your hair. So now using my Trace and May Curl Activator, I'm just going to mist it in my hair just very evenly. This product is formed to define and freeze the curls. So now I'm going to part my hair from ear to ear, just very roughly using my fingers. And we're going to secure it so it's out of the way. I'm using the Nikki Clark Professional Salon Straightener. So taking my straightener, I'm going to take say about an inch of my hair. And I'm going to clump it vertically, like so, and turn it by 180 degrees and slide outwards. And as you can see, this straightener slides very well. It's very important to have a good pair of straighteners or your curls won't be smooth. So again, we're just going to repeat the process by holding it vertically and then again pulling the hair. So you get this spiral type of curl. Okay, once again, taking a section clump, turn 180 degrees and just pull away from you vertically. I like to pull vertically for my lower layers of my hair. So just repeat the process, just pulling vertically. Remember, you don't need to clamp it really hard, just clamp it gently and just pull. There is no need for strength. And now it's time to release your upper layers. Now for the upper layers, I like to turn and pull down horizontally. So unlike before where I pulled vertically, this one I pull horizontally so it's softer. So instead of a spiral, it's a volumizing curl. So just dragging downwards, like so. So just dragging. For the layers at the back, I like to drag upwards just so I get that body and also that curl at the same time. I also prefer to curl inwards when it comes to my upper layers. The longer you slide, the tighter the curl. So the shorter time you slide, the looser the curl. So just repeat the process, it's very quick and easy really, it just takes a bit of practice. And for my bangs, I also like to curve backwards so I get that body and lift at the same time. 
And of course, I'm going to use my Sebastian Cree clay, rub on my palm so it completely disappears, and just ruffle my hair with my palm, just like this. Rub it in the ends a little, and smoothing it all over your hair, defining the curls, really lifting it and scrunching it. And really just adjust and style accordingly. And I tend to like to twist the ends of my hair like this. A little bit of clay is all I need. I don't really like to use too much hairspray or anything. Step back and check and you're ready to go. Oh, 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 oh,